Hello students, good morning. Uh, this is Manju Lamba here again in front of you with a new poem. Today we are going to do poem ball. Okay? We are going to do uh, this poem ball as the title suggests. It's about some ball with uh, what a small child plays. They love to play with small ball. Uh, but here, this with this small title, with this small act of a child who is playing with the ball and who lost the ball, poet wants to refer a very strong theme he wants to give here that I am going to tell you. Okay? So this poem basically deals with, it's about losing something that you love and learning to grow. Okay? When you lost something, it's about a child, a small child who lost his ball and he's so grieved over the uh, loss of that uh, ball that he wants that one back. Because he, does, he doesn't want to take another because for him, uh, for mature one, what will happen? They will be convinced that it's okay, another ball I will take and we play with them. But before this small child, he, another ball, to get another ball is worthless. He doesn't want because he's so deeply attached with his own position that he doesn't want to stay away or uh, don't want to lose it for it. Okay? So this poem is about that. So here with this small incident, poet wants to refer that uh, money is external. Whatever material uh, we are having in our materialistic life is worthless. Whatever we have, we have to one day it will be lost. So we should be ready for that and what we have to learn, what poet wants to suggest here is that we should learn to cope up with loss. That whatever is lost, it's okay. Make up your mind to deal with those losses and then regain, uh, uh, regain that our day will come when another thing, another thing will replace this thing. So with the child who is very small here, who with the age, first loss when he got what happened, he slowly now will be learning that uh, how to cope up with that stress of losing something. So with that time being, Another uh, ball he will gain, another time maybe he will be uh, losing it, but again he will uh, get back that confidence. Slowly that thing will come, that money is external, the things are external, nothing happens, thing is gone, it's gone forever. So this message to poet wants to give through this poem, okay? The rest of the poem explanation I will give you through PPT. So this poem is written by John Barima. Barima, written, ball is written by John Barima, okay? So let's start line to line uh, explanation of the poem. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What is he to do? I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street then merrily over. There it is in the water. No use to say oh there are other balls. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling, staring down his old young days into harbor where his ball went. I would not intrude on him. A dime, another ball is worthless. Okay. So now what the poet is telling? Uh, he focus here that on the boy who has lost his ball. Okay. So he has lost the ball and uh, what is he to do? Now question uh, come in the mind of the poet that what should uh, the boy do now? So he doesn't say anything to the boy. He just observe a uh, poet stands there and observe the boy how he behaves. I saw it go merrily bouncing. Merrily bouncing. When the child was playing what happened? The ball bounced upon. It bounced like that. And then uh, it went down the street and then merrily over in the water and then it fell into the water. So it bounced and fell into the water somewhere and the boy whose condition is helpless, who is feeling helpless now here and because this is maybe his, uh, his first loss. He do not know, he doesn't know how to bear this loss. So uh, no use to say oh there are other balls. Say if I, a poet is saying if I go to him and tell him it's okay let the ball has fallen into the water let it fall. There are other balls you get other ball no problem. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy but boy will not listen because what is happening he is uh, uh, in a, under a that grief because his own possession till now what was the ball was of his. And he doesn't want to part away of it, a part of it. Uh, then uh, this ball has gone into the 
water and this ultimate uh, ultimate that maximum limit grief has overpowered him and he is not able to bear that loss so he is standing rigid rigid here refers to stiff very hard he is in a stiff condition he doesn't want to move from there he wants at any cost he wants his ball back he's trembling he's staring down and his young days into harbor where his ball went harbor here referred to uh, harbor refers to a place uh, where the water stops here a place where the water uh, uh, collects at one point okay so here uh, this boy is trembling staring down his young days into the harbor where his ball went now maybe now see uh, can you see this line all his young days into harbor where his ball went so this ball was gone and boy was standing helplessly there he wanted the ball back but it could not so now this boy maybe uh, this is the poet himself maybe this he, he is recollecting the memory of his childhood okay this line tells about his young days into harbor where his ball went so he's saying now the bad boy is a mature one his poet uh, poet is saying uh, now uh, the boy is grown up he's a young boy so he is uh, watching thinking and recollecting his uh, memories that how the things um, uh, slowly changed in his life how he uh, started losing the first loss when he had in his life how he started bearing it and then slowly he would be uh, getting uh, he will be overpowering it i would not intrude on him intrude here refers to uh, something forcefully when you are entering somewhere or not to interrupt now poet is saying i don't want to interrupt that boy that boy that child okay because for him dime a dime here refers to uh, 10 cents that is us currency just like pesa this is us currency see another ball may be a dime uh, maybe uh, of one die, uh, one dime only, a few cents uh, money uh, will cost of this ball. But uh, if I tell him you take another one, there is no need, uh, no, it will be worthless because he doesn't want at that moment the boy doesn't want another ball. It was his, it was his possession, and he hasn't learned to. He this is his first experience to uh, lose something and then. Uh, recover out of that uh, loss come out of that loss the first time he's learning saying if I tell to the boy that you do if someone tell to the boy that okay it's okay you take another boy the boy will not accept that okay he will uh, again and again he will be asking for the same ball so this happened naturally with the children when slowly gradually they understand that it's a part of life if one thing I am having it may be lost sometimes so they start bearing that, 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 uh, those sorts of loss. So here, this is one example actually. Uh, when in life here, through the example of this boy, the poet, what he wants to emphasize is that life is like uh, that we uh, gain experience. Life is a game of experience. Okay, game of experience. So what? That slowly when uh, we get experience then only we learn that what what actually the life is okay so here the poet is telling his story of the through the child he is telling uh, the gist of the life now he senses first responsibility now he senses first res responsibility in a world of possessions people will take balls and balls will be lost always little boy and no one buy a ball back. Money is external. He is learn, learning well behind his desperate eyes. The epistemology of loss. How to stand up? Knowing what every man must one day know. And most know many days how to stand up. So here again the poet. What he wants to emphasize. He is saying this is the now. He is gaining his sense of responsibility. Now slowly with experience this boy uh, now has got a sense that this is his uh, responsibility. His responsibility now he is sensing what is his responsibility in this world of possessions. Possessions the things which you own in life that what is your responsibility. If you have you will be having it forever 
or if it is lost how you have to learn to behave to um, learn to behave uh, at that moment when you have lost something so he's saying this is first responsible uh, thing uh, happen in his life that he this child started learning okay that how uh, to behave when possessions when things when materialistic things are gone when our money is gone what happen how what happen uh, we people uh, behave the first time when we uh, lose something any money any any uh, costly thing we are having and it is lost so what will be our reaction at that moment we will be weeping for some time we will be weeping over the thing we will be won at that thing at any cost but slowly gradually with the time what will happen we ourselves will understand that it's okay thing is gone no matter life is to continue so here the poet wants to emphasize over that uh, thing people will take balls and balls will be lost always little boy so he is referring to the little boy he is saying this happens balls we purchase every time and another time it will be lost we play it for some time then it will be lost it's natural so he wants to explain to the boy but boy is not in that condition to understand at that moment because with his experience only now he will understand and no one buys a ball uh, back so no one buys a ball back here i saying uh, that uh, though uh, money is external money is external he saying but we have in our life our possessions the money the materialistic life everything will be lost a day we should not repent over the things what is gone we should learn to behave in a matured manner to learn to bear those loss uh, those uh, things which have gone we should bear those sort of things and then we should proceed further in life that no need to rip, uh, weep over such things which are lost we can get another one so no need to worry about he is learning well behind his desperate eyes so he is learning boy is slowly learning the things that uh, those things that experience he is getting so now he is desperate desperate here is hopeless eyes till now he is very hopeless he doesn't know what to do what to do how to get the ball back but slowly this boy is getting the he is learning that epistemology of loss okay epistemology here refers to this is a greek word, a word actually it means knowledge okay it means knowledge knowledge of what when you uh, something uh, knowledge of something uh, that how to recover out of the things so uh, this is knowledge he is getting what knowledge he is getting here of loss how to bear the loss okay how to tolerate the loss in our life and how to move forward further in the life so this knowledge slowly is coming to the boy how to stand up knowing what every man must one day no most no many days how to stand up so he's saying knowing every man must know one day one day everyone understands slowly a number of people they do not they want the money they want the possessions they want to gather the things but slowly with the passage of time what happen after many days after the age passes or with experience we learn that the things materialistic things are nothing the only true things is actually our inner soul inner feelings the inner behaviors how do we behave how do we uh, interact with other people so all those things are left only things are low so this deep learning is slowly coming in this boy slowly it's coming in the boy okay uh, that's the point thank you okay so now let's uh, come to poetic devices used in the poem first of all uh, let me tell you in detail all the poetic devices will be doing okay now see uh, first uh, poetic device here used is alliteration if you remember what was alliteration if you remember i told you alliteration what is alliteration yes alliteration is repetition of sound okay repetition of sound uh, like you can see here uh what what w w sound is repeated here repetition of sound this is alliteration okay another line you can see here uh we find other examples uh next line is stand you can see this line stands staring s s this s sound is repeated again this is alliteration 
okay so this is called alliteration when sound is repeated the first letter of any word is repeated that is called um, alliteration okay now another one is here anaphora this uh, i think you are uh, listening for the first time anaphora okay let me tell you what actually anaphora is anaphora is when uh, two lines one two or more lines they are starting with the same words if you can see first line and second line what is the boy first line what what is he to do so these two lines are starting with the same word that is called anaphora another line also third and fourth line you can see merrily merrily over merrily bouncing merrily over so the both the lines are starting with the same words so this is called anaphora this is another poetic device used here okay and uh, now another one let me tell you another one is here repetition this is same thing repetition uh, uh, there is a little bit different repetition of uh, alliteration is also uh, repetition of sound but here uh, repetition is referred to repetition okay uh, alliteration is uh, sound uh, word first letter we see and in repetition what happens two words uh, like what what uh, repetition of the words uh, let me tell you another on another slide okay here you can see uh, what repetition actually is you can see balls balls two words side by side are uh, used so two words are repeated in the same line okay like that so this is called repetition okay so these are the uh, poetic devices used in the poem this was the poem i hope you understood well again we will collect some points the poem is about uh, personal loss materialistic loss when a child lost the ball and how he comes out of that uh, situation and so this poem teaches us how to cope uh, cope up with stress and what message poet wants to give here that come out of that stress and learn to live a new life with new things don't be over possessed with the things try to learn the ways that the things are materialistic uh, things are nothing these are external but we have to learn our life to move forward happily thank you